So I just binged all of WandaVision. Um, it wasn't that bad. I kind of went into watching this under the impression that it wasn't really that great. And I, I kind of been told that the, the first half was a lot stronger than the latter half. And I think there's some truth to that, but not, I think it's backwards for me anyway. The first few episodes are a little difficult to get through, primarily because of the, the style. Because they, they fashion it like an old sitcom show, like, like a 40s, 50s sitcom show, and I think the, the type of sitcom progresses by about a decade every episode uh, until they, they move away from that. So, yes, it's going to look like I Love Lucy for a little bit. And you spend those first three episodes kind of just waiting for something that happened. The first episode, you watch it and watch it, and it really is just a sitcom episode until you get to the end of it and then the build-up climaxes because you know you're waiting for something the whole time you you know it's not just a sitcom and then you finally hit the climax and you're like ah thank you give me something else <laughs> and then episode two they do two things and then episode three there's like three things and then and then every episode they they give you more they give they give you more to break your immersion of this of this sitcom universe where where everything is a different genre or or time period of sitcom and it it's kind of difficult to get through it at first but as it goes on you start to get more and more as i said and it becomes more interesting i, I think the interesting thing here is that um as as they give you more they start to paint uh wanda as kind of the villain of the show and then by the end she's not really painted as the villain anymore uh even though to some people she still is but uh she is not the overarching villain here uh they they do this weird thing where they add in some random antagonist at the end which was a little goofy i i understand why they did it it just it just kind of came out of nowhere the whole show is really just wanda struggling with her her trauma and her psyche and it's a big kind of quest for her to get through her trauma so that she can escape this reality she's created of, of this sitcom universe it, it's a it's a cool concept and it, it's kind of like uh she is the villain but is she really it's like a it's like a criminally insane uh case right where technically you are guilty of something in this situation but you could be claimed criminally insane and then suddenly you're not guilty kind of it makes it so that she's not actually the villain she's almost kind of a victim to herself and everyone is a victim to her being a victim of herself and her past which was kind of cool to to see and by the end of it she she kind of gets through it but not totally there's still some leftover stuff there i i didn't watch it when it came out because somebody told me it was mid i was like well if it's mid eh. but dr strange the new dr strange movie that's coming out wanda's involved and i was like okay if this is wanda related i should go and watch it so i have the full story <laughs> even though i never watched age of ultron uh but you know that movie was unimportant apparently because I understand everything without watching it. So, whatever. This kind of gives a lot of insight to, I think, things that could happen in the future with her. So I thought it was important to watch it for the full story. Yeah, it, it's interesting. I much more enjoyed the second half than the first half. Just, again, because of the stylization things. The first half was pretty boring. And then you get to kind of the mid and it picks up. And then they have the, the weird break off with the antagonist that they've thrown in that part was still more enjoyable to me than waiting every episode for just something to happen like it really was kind of torturous waiting and waiting and waiting through these 40 minute episodes for two minutes of gratification like when there was gratification it was nice because you had been waiting all this time and um i think it's rewarding in a sense to sit through all of it because as it starts to pick up, you, you see more of these things falling apart in this in this world she's created and 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 more and more things start to click together and 
it's this really slow build into this total collapse of this world Wanda has created. And little things go wrong here and there and here and there. And then suddenly a lot of things are going wrong and then it all just falls apart in her mind. To that end, it's worth watching the first bits. It's just hard to get through. But it is worth it once it gets there, if that makes sense. It was maybe, yeah, kind of... The show was kind of mid, but, like, it was good. I, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I thought I was going to be disappointed in the end, but I, I got more out of it in the end than I did in the in the beginning, which is not what I was expecting. I was expecting to enjoy the beginning and not like the end, as I was told would happen, but for me, that was not the case. Sorry if this is a little incomprehensive. I just... Uh, what is it? It's 4.30 in the morning, and um, I've been watching since, like, 11, 10.30? I don't know. So, I just... While it's all sunk in, I just wanted to empty my empty my thoughts out. What, what are we giving it? Uh, I'm not going to give it a rating. Numbers are hard. Interpret my words how you will. That's it. Bye-bye.